Mr. Farad, our savior, she called him our savior, Mr. Farad told us, that was her and her husband, my father, Elijah Poole Muhammad, mm -hmm. um, to raise you so that you will be a helper to your father and to Mr. Farad, to mm -hmm. our savior, Mr. Farad. Mm -hmm. uh, they told me this from the time I, I can't, I, I guess, the time I began toppling around, you know, mm -hmm. I can't remember a time, time in my life when I wasn't told that. As early as I can remember, I was told that. Mm -hmm. And my, I had a sister, Lottie, mm -hmm. and she would reinforce it. If she saw me playing outside in the streets with boys, uh, she would say, come in here. You're not supposed to be like them. Don't play with them like that. Mm -hmm. She said, you're supposed to, don't you know you were named after the Savior? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they would tell me these things. But know? how did that make you feel? I mean, did it make you feel like you're like the, the special child that you no, know? No, I didn't understand the Savior. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it did not. <laughs> not then. Mm -hmm. Much later in my life, I started to think about that, you mm -hmm. know. But I said earlier that it was working subconsciously in me, obviously, mm -hmm. because um, I was a different child. I was mm -hmm. very obedient, very obedient. Mm -hmm. My mother told me, she told me, she said, you would come in the kitchen and watch me cook. Say you would sit against with your back against the kitchen wall. Mm -hmm. She say you wouldn't make a, any crack, you wouldn't make any noise, you wouldn't uh, ask any questions. You would sit there quietly the whole time I'm cooking in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And my older sister, she passed now, may God give her paradise. She, uh, Ethel, she said, I would tell you to sit and you would stay there no matter how long I was away, mm -hmm. you wouldn't move. Mm -hmm. So I think obedience was in my nature, right. in my nature, mm -hmm. um, and uh, that stood out with my Christian friends. I had Christian friends, mm -hmm. boys I used to so, play with and play games with, uh, baseball and whatever, and hang out with, uh, mm -hmm. but all of them noticed something in me and they had respect for it. Mm -hmm. They noticed something that they respected very highly. Right. They wouldn't treat me like they did other boys. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, but now, I mean, as you, as you evolved and became older, when did you start to realize that what was being taught, that there was something other than that that needed to be studied, that uh, you had to try to learn this Arabic language in order to understand those things? One, one night, on a Wednesday night, my, I was doing my homework, mm -hmm. and uh, I was in elementary school. I was still in elementary school. I was about, maybe about 12 years old. Uh, possibly 13, mm -hmm. and um, my father came down well dressed, all dressed up, and my mother soon after that, my, here comes my mother, and she's all dressed up, and it's nighttime, mm -hmm. and my father said, uh, son, uh, we have to go to the temple to take care of some business tonight, and I knew what that was, because on Wednesday night, they would have cases, try people. Mm -hmm. for violations. Oh, and what was that like? What was it like to it have was like I mean, what would be the nature of the cases? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, you were seen going into a movie, Ooh. into the devil's movie house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you, or something like this. Or you were seen smoking cigarette. Right. You couldn't smoke cigarettes. But somebody told me, like, in, in, in terms of these cases, like, one of the biggest sins that you could get brought up on was for eating pork. No. You know, the, some people was very serious uh, no. about eating pork. No. You know? No. And this is... Let, I me, hear, okay, let, let me correct yes. that. Yes. Nobody ever was brought up eating pork because mm -hmm. most of them, they were taught, they were taught that pork, pork damaged the mental uh, ability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they were told that so many ounces of pork takes, take away so many brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we didn't have people uh, coming up for eating pork. Mm -hmm. And right now, if you would go and ask any of them about pork, they, even if they've gone back out in the streets in the world, right. they would say, no, I don't eat pork. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and about these, so when they would be brought for a case, I mean, what was the nature of that and how was Yes, it? well, I told you, it's, the, uh, it's for smoking a cigarette, yeah. for seeing in the movies, mm -hmm. uh, for seeing in a bar, if mm -hmm. you were seeing in a bar, yeah. or liquors, you know, where they sell liquors, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, if you um, uh, did something for, for, for somebody and, uh, and for some brother, mm -hmm. like a job, mm -hmm. and, you had, and you had a complaint, you didn't get justice, he didn't do you good. He didn't do a good job. Didn't mm -hmm. do a good job for you. Mm -hmm. You could bring him up. You right. could charge him and bring him up. So we had our own courts. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so when you said that your your mother and father told you they were going out. Yes, they were going out. They were going out to the temple right. on business, mm -hmm. and they were gone for a long time. And I'm sleeping, and the house is making noises. You mm -hmm. know the old house mm -hmm. uh, when it cools. 
Right. It started to hear noise somewhere in the in the back room, in the basement, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm hearing noise. I'm afraid now. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. So before I go to sleep, uh, you know, we didn't have salat as as Muslims have it in the world. Yes. We called we called it prayer, but mm -hmm. I, but it was only dua. Right. It was standing or sitting. Mm -hmm. So I'm standing now, and I put my hands like I was told to put them, like I was trained to put them, mm -hmm. and I'm making dua, and I say, Oh Allah. If I'm not seeing you correctly, will you please help me see you correctly? Mm -hmm. And I was about 12 or 13 years old. That's when it started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when that, when that started, I mean, uh, were you on your, I mean, because there were certain teachings being taught, and I think maybe you had to, to, to seek knowledge from other sources in order to really... Oh, well, certainly, certainly, but I didn't have to go far. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm about uh, 19, maybe. 17, 18, 19. Yes. And I'm living in a nice house now. We, we're living in uh, apartments, living in shacks, but mm -hmm. now we got a nice house on Woodlawn near U University of Chicago, right. you know, in that kind of environment. And um, uh, my father, uh, where we slept, my, my brother and I, um, if, as soon as we open our door, there's a library, glass doors. Mm -hmm. And that's my father's private library. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't locked. You could go in it. Mm -hmm. So he had Islamic books. Mm -hmm. He had books on the life of the prophet, mm -hmm. prayers and peace be on him.